Job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Don't give a scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, hey, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. Now let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? The story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. Who are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? You planning on getting us there any time of day? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a break. Ha ha ha! You're a funny fella, John Marston. Come on, folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. They're left here, towards Rhodes. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dog, no, please. Not this again. Oh. Wagon can't take this. Fine. Damn you tree. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we got the tracks with the wagon, then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. What the hell is wrong with you? You drive a wagon? Close, Marston. We're at the railroad. 
Just carry on a bit further. Little Mr. McGuire. You focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Can't you go any faster? Shoot your mouth. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, yeah. get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. That's do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. Go on! Get on there! Faster! All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and don't sure. you get shot! This is Go. unnecessary. Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this guy's full! Give me everything you got. I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What did I do? What's the problem here? I am adverse to conflict. Deal with these two, will you, Mr. M? Money! Valuables! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay, Come on. okay, in the bag, God everything you got. This Keep is coming, don't be shy. People please. like you make me don't sick. Me. These two seem to think we're playing games. Please, please, don't oh, hurt me. God damn it. Oh, God. Sick as bad old dead lady. Please. I'm losing Thank my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why that? Waste our time, huh? You show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here. Quick, come on! See, everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't. Come on, cop it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. I can hear this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? Empty your pockets, mister, and you can be on your way. What is it? You alright? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There'll be something in here, Arthur. <laughs>
get up. Watch it. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother, but we're seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. These folks are rich, all right. Gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. A ghost? And this racket's in there. Gosh, bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. We'll take that. All right, we should probably be going now. Looking good in here. Come on, we should get out of here. Some decent stuff. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? Does a few more of them turn enough? <laughs> My big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. There they are! Open door! Oh, shit! We got more on the left!
<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 